What's going on, folks? Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and share the video. Because these, you may want to get. You may want to share with your friends and tell them to go ahead and get these. These are nine and a half because this is the size I end up, you know, was able to cop at the time. These were the first pair that I caught back in 2001. These are the um, Air Jordan 1 Plus. I think Retro Plus. Yeah, Air Jordan Retro Plus. Let me see that original box. Let's see if I can find that original box. Do I got it? Do I got it? Give me a second. Pow! Original box. Here you go. So here the code for you, 13-60-65-101. That's the code for you if you want to try to cop a pair of these before they come out. Because they are coming out. They're supposed to come out this year sometime. They used to come with a little hang tag and all that stuff. But these, I didn't know this part went on, you know, fell off. So they get too hot. These are 19 years old. Keep in mind that. 19 years old, almost 20 years old to the day they came out. But I ended up getting me a pair back in 2001. First pair of Jordans that I bought with my own cash money back then. Hang on. But here, here they go though. Here they go. So you got the Navy. This is Sway. So this is how Sway looked 19 years later. Me hooping in these all the time. And they hurt. I mean, I got to admit though. They hurt like a mug, too, when you're playing them. So they had, you know, limp. these were limited back then. So I had, uh, what, 13,000 and 24 out of 22,732. So 13,024. That's the number that I had got, that I purchased. So it wasn't that many out there. So you ain't going to really see these too often. But man, I like these since these were my first pair that I bought for myself. I had to, like I said, I had to get me another pair. So I went ahead and got me another pair. I think it was like last year or maybe two years ago. I went ahead and grabbed these, and it even came with a little Jordan tag thing, you know, keychain thing, whatever you want to call it. So, I don't, man, I think, I'm pretty sure that these were worn. Pretty sure that these were worn, but they was in, like, you know, great condition, though. I, I wasn't mad about the purchase. I will say that. I was not mad, even though this part right here was cracked. I'm going to have to glue it because it's coming out. My, uh, the wing right here is coming out, so I'm going to have to glue that. But other than that, though, man, I mean, they, they, they was in pretty good shape when it came to me. And I think I wore them like maybe one time, one time for the one time since I got them. See if they let me see what number is this. Okay, this is number uh three thousand five hundred ninety eight right here, and it still got you know look at that, still got the jump excuse me jump man inside of them, still got the jump man and let me see yep as you see they have been worn so they are dirty at the bottom. Hard dirty at the bottom. Let me make sure both of them say the same number. Yep, 3598 on both. Jump man is in the bottom of that shoe, too. So these are pretty still pristine, still clean. Man, if I if I clean up the bottoms, you dang there would even know they've been worn before. Besides little creases right there, you know, little creases right there. But man, look at that, look at them though. So you got the you got right here, you got the silver or gray, whatever color they want to call it. Let's see what color they call it. They call it a metallic silver. And these are supposed to be the Japan ones. Just, let me say that again. They are supposed to be the Japan ones. Get, get y'all that closer look. Japan ones is what they're going to call these. But originally, they were the Air Jordan um, 1 Retro Plus. That's what it said in the box. And I believe these are the same exact shoe that are coming out. So I'm going to put in the uh, on the title. See, if you see the title says Japan Ones, this is what they are. From what I've seen from the pictures, this is what they are. Let me fix these shoe strings real quick. Eh. 
make it look a little bit better. Uh, you're gonna see my ashiness. Yeah, it happens. Ashy. It's all good though. But anyway. Oh, I didn't even fix that one. So pan ones. And when these come out, I'm gonna have to go ahead and cop another pair because I like these so much. And blue's not even my favorite color. That's to make it so bad. But this colorway right here on these shoes. And, you know, especially since I bought my first pair. And I never thought, you know, I bought my bought my first pair of my own money. These are my, this is my first pair of Jordans that I bought my own money. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean by my first pair that I bought with my own money. These are the first pair of Jordans that I actually put money away for to buy, you know. To spend my own hard-earned money. To buy a pair of shoes and these were the first pair of Jordans that I paid for. I had bought other stuff, but it, I never bought any Jordans on my own. But these were the first pair. Well, these were the first pair. So, you know, I never let them go. For some odd reason, out of all the shoes that I've had, that I have I've bought, I've bought over time, I still didn't let these go. Still kept the box because I guess, you know, it meant a little bit something to me, you know, to work hard. And you'd be able to see, you know, be able to see the fruits of your labor. So I just kept them around. Just to let my remind myself, you know, where I started, you know, like, you know, started working. You need to get some money. Want to buy stuff. Want to be able to do things. Want to be able to help other people out. You know, you got to take money. Take work for that. So, hey. That's what I started doing. I started working, saving money, investing money, you know, giving money away, trying to help other people out. Sometimes helping the wrong people out. But hey, you know, it's all good. You live and you learn. You sure enough live and you learn. But man, the yellowing on this shoe, <laughs> I wish I could get that out and make it look like that again. Look at that. Look at the difference. It's like night and day. Man, I didn't hoop the knees for real. For no reason, too. Because when you came, I mean, I was still hooping the knees probably like six years after I got them. And then the, um, the soles inside, the insoles. I mean, you can feel the ground. When you hit the ground, you can feel it. You feel everything. And I know my knees got to be, you know, hurting from that. <laughs> you know, they will be. They not hurting real bad right now, but they will be. But I'm going to go ahead and... um. <clears throat> Let y'all see these one more time. I'm going to do the, do the spins. Make sure y'all get a good look. So you got the jump man on the back, as you see. I'm curious if they're going to change this at all. I'm going to try to look at the pictures again and see if anything's different. I'm going to go like that. Yeah, it's a little dirt right there. Don't mind that. But you got the, the suede. He's like a suede material. Suede, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think New Buck's different, yeah. It's like a Swedish material. No, or hold on. Is that New Buck or Suede? Shoot. I don't know. But it's like a, it's like a different material. Put like that. I'm going to tell you that. It's like a different material. I can't remember what New Buck feels like, so. And it's not Suede, so. It's not. Sway is different. Sway is different. This is something. This is something. I can't even tell you what it is, but it is something. But I, man. On this box, the second box, it said that these were originally $80 at this store. When that person first paid for them, I paid like $120. When I first bought mine, I think I paid $120 because I had to get them shipped to me. I got mine shipped to my crib, and you know, when it comes with uh, when it comes to shipping and handling fees, yeah, because I bought mine off eBay. This is when I was still buying shoes. Well, I still do try to buy stuff off eBay if I see a good price, but I had copped these off of eBay originally. It was an eBay grab. I never let go. Yet, yeah. I mean, it's going to come a day. I mean, they they falling apart, so I may just put them in a box, put them on the shelf somewhere, you know, some kind of glass and be like, you know, leave them pristine like that. 
like they uh, a symbol or something <laughs> or something for me to remember. But make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe, do all that crap, share the video. Thanks.